up everybody welcome back to the shed another brand new shiny clean tool <laughs> for review um this is the uh dewalt flex volt 60 volt seven and a quarter worm drive circular saw um and the worm drive it gives it this kind of handle behind the blade kind of design and the way the worm drive works is you get a lot more consistent torque I mean, you can just lean on that gearbox a lot harder than you can a traditional circular saw. Um, this will actually rip through material better than a traditional corded circular saw. I've tested it. I went to a DeWalt um, open house. It was, a, it was a factory store open house, and the guy had one of these, and he had a regular DeWalt corded, uh, an older model circular saw, and this was more powerful, more smooth, it just cut through the wood like it wasn't even there, whereas he's like really lean on the corded one, and I was getting it to bog down, whereas I couldn't get this one to bog down. I pushed on it really hard through a, um, what was that, a 1x6, so it had a little bit to go, and this performed better than the corded version, so um, as far as I can tell, all looking online, uh, this is the baddest cordless saw that you can get, as far as circular saws go. It has the uh, it has the 60 volt battery nestled down in the middle of the top like that. Good rubber grip on the handle. It is brushless, so that's 60 volts to a brushless motor to a worm drive to a full seven and a quarter inch blade. It's just technology. We're beyond the cord now. Cordless all the tools because it's better. No cords, no generators. Maybe if you're charging batteries, but no cords and generators. You're not dragging cords out and rolling them up at the end of the day. You're just swapping batteries out. So. Um, yeah, this is going to pair nicely with my uh, three and a half inch framing nailer when I go to do my fence. Uh, I need to replace the fences. They're kind of dilapidated. <laughs> they need some freshening up. Um, they're real basic, so um, when it comes time to do that, I'm going to bust this out on the framing nailer and take care of the fences. So um, this has a brake, as indicated by the little brake caliper logo here, and it's got a pretty decent brake. Uh, if you remember olden times, your dad using one of these, that blade would spin for a good 30 seconds after he put it down. This, pretty pretty quick. That's a lot of rotating mass to slow down, and uh, it just stops it for you. Um, it has uh, the tool to change the blade is included on the, oh, it's over here. Oh, it does come with the blade. It comes with a flex volt blade, 24 <laughs> framing blade. Um, it does come with the tool to change the blade, and that stores. Where the hell does it store? <laughs> I took it out. Maybe I'm not looking at the right side of it. Uh, there we go. Stores right down in there, so you're never without it. And it's pretty well, it's pretty well held in there. But it comes out with a simple pull. Um, so you've got the hook here. You can hook it to studs or joists or whatever. It, it hooks to two by or four by if you've got that. Um, it's, got, it's got a blade lock, so you can't just pull the trigger. You have to push this little lock in. It's sort of a safety feature. It'll let you go from zero degree or zero depth right there to all the way up to I think it's an inch and a quarter is past uh, or two inches. All the all the way in is two inches. And then this locks down right there. Your angle adjustments are right here. Pop that out. And then you have um, all the way up to 50... What was it? 50... Uh, 53 degrees. And then it has stops at 25 and 45. It has a little detents right in there. So you can quickly go to 45 to make your bevel cuts. And then lever, so it's all all tools, all pretty uh, pretty good sized levers. There's your um, your brake, so when you go to change blades, you can stop the blade and use the tool to get the blade off. But yeah, I uh, I like it. It's it's ripped through everything that I've put it through. Um, I can't wait to actually do a project with it. I've just kind of cut things for fun, and um, I, I cut a pallet, the top of a really big oh, it was a spool. And it was two layers of oak, um, two by, basically two by, maybe inch and a half by material. And it ripped right through that too, no problem. I cut that up to put in the fire pit and uh, 
it made short work of it. Not the perfect, you know, scenario for this thing, but it worked really good. In here, I have the Diablo 24 tooth uh, framing, there we go, a framing blade, and um, I've used Diablo blades. Look, here's an old, uh, here's an old one, the 24 tooth, uh, I think this is like five and a quarter. It's a weird size there. Uh, but I've always got I've always bought Diablo blades. They always work really good. They have get good carbide tips um, What else about the blade? Um, yeah, they're they, they purport that it's a five times of the life That's so for every one of these you would buy five of another brand uh, five times longer life um, twice as long durability in nail embedded wood so if you're demoing something you're reframing something and you end up hitting some nails with this it's not going to be a problem it's going to cut right through it and um, it gives you 65 percent more efficient uh cuts than a standard blade so it's it's letting the tool do the work easier and it's uh keeping less stress on your tool so like i said diablo i've always went to diablo pretty much for everything saws all blades whole saws Circular saw blades. I have never been let down by them. They, all they do is saw, saw, saw blades, <clears throat> and they focus on that, and they test them, and they, you know, it's like, they're not making a bunch of other crap. They're making just saw blades. That's all they know. <laughs> and that's, they, they do one thing, and they do it well. So, <clears throat> there it is, the DeWalt 60-volt Flexvolt Worm Drive 7 and a quarter circular saw. I can't wait to use this thing. Um, this is, like I said, this is more saw than I would ever need as a homeowner but uh it is it is gonna just melt through wood like nothing uh, when i do need to use it so that is it uh check that out i'll put a link in the description and uh thanks for watching